Hello gamers and welcome to a very playful video. In this video I am not going to show you any big hits but you will have a lot of fun. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you receive the notifications whenever I upload the video. A story behind this is I was in Fury scouting some targets for myself and my guildmates and those guys set a rally on me. So I decided because I knew they can't fill the rally that I am going to my hive and I am going to try and evacuate my troops to do so-called evacuation and by doing this I am going to provoke them to solo me which you can see here that work just perfectly. The first guy sent a leaderless attack but second guy went with the leader. Also remember the name of the first guy uh, Zeratul uh, we will have a lot of fun uh, with him later in this video. The Zeratul guy I just mentioned decided to rescue his body, setting a rally on me. The rally is not full, it's uh, 1.3 million. So at this point uh, I am not randoming out because I am seeing that they are using the carpets. So I'm going to waste those precious carpets because they decided to carpet it anyway. I'm hiding my T1 calves, just uh, basically killing uh, the time while the rally hit me and they use much more carpets. Rally is hitting me, I'm switching back to Fey gear. I knew already in this point that I capped the guy. As you can see, his gear is basically mixed gear, so he don't have a proper uh, blast gear. Moving forward, uh, this happened a few days later. I am doing here name illusion trap, which is almost impossible for me in this point. And this guy ported after a lot of preparations. He decided to go and solo me with full inf. I am just switching to cav, no need at all to switch in war gear. And I am just happy like a little kid when you give him a candy, because as I always uh, like to say, all you need is one good trick, one good trap in order for you to have a little bit of fun with your enemies. Those guys, of course, decided to go and rescue. I am randoming out, I am just playing with them. I am trying uh, to run from them, to give them the false feeling that they can solo me. And of course, Hunter going for a solo, thinking how he is going to burn me. But whoops, it's not going to happen and of course he is capped. I provoked this solo on which I am very proud that I managed to play with, uh, with them. This guy had a very nice cuff set, very nice gear, maxed familiars. He also had a lot of reds, which are T5 reds as you are going to see here. A lot of T5 reds and Bunny Bomb going for a rescue rally. Uh, NFG guys at this point uh, could not fill the rally because not a lot of their members can go in fury against us. Uh, probably a lot of their members was uh, afraid to go in fury or not having the proper troop composition to take a rally. And this is the good call. If you guys cannot take a rally, uh, don't force it. Don't, don't go in fury because you are going to be rallied and you are going to be zeroed if you can't uh, take a rally. So we are going to see now NFG uh, getting last guy joined and here is really walking. I already knew it's a range and I am sitting in in phalanx waiting for a rally to hit me. Counting down those seconds, getting ready to switch my war gear. And here is the swap, quick swap, pop war gear, pop fake gear back. Rally, of course, is eaten. Of course, not full rally, so not possible to do a lot of damage. But again, this is fun. Uh, for me, this kingdom is uh, pretty much that kingdom. The hunter, again, probably very mad that I managed to cap him going with the leaderless rally. And you will see the this rally have even less troops than previews because probably some of his uh, guildmates didn't want to join, which I totally understand. He's just uh, mad now and trying basically to kill himself because he cannot uh, do any proper damage at this point. 
And later on, they decided to go finally for the double rally. Uh, one of those rallies was full, the second was not. And let's see how this is going to play for them. One rally is uh, in rally, the second one is a cow rally. Uh, I'm not uh, concerned at all. At this point, I told my guys, both of those rally leads are going to be capped. Get ready to rally back that Zarutal guy. Uh, because at this point, we have his troop composition as he was not wearing the anti-scout. And my man, Constera, ready checking for that cap and already setting the counter rally on Zarutal. Both guys, of course, are capped. Here we are going quickly to check uh, the reports. They are not proper rally leads. Like I mentioned, no big hits in this video. But it was fun to see Zerutal even didn't switch uh, gear. So, yeah, it was, <laughs> it, was, it was very funny. But here we are uh, rallying him back. Constera already set the rally at this point. Uh, we didn't manage to go uh, double rally on him. This is just something to uh, to discuss with our allies why they didn't set a double rally with us on leaderless target. But we will leave that for another occasion. At this point, let's focus on our rally. I'm joining this rally, of course, as well. This guy is leaderless, but he have a rally trap troop composition. You are going to see soon. He's not even a rain rally trap, he's a proper rally trap troop composition. We are spamming him here and going to carpet this rally. And here it is, really is uh, flying over the map, hitting him and yep, burning him. He took probably at this point wrong reins and Constera smacking him hard. Here you can see his troop composition and reins he took was cav reins. He did mistake with taking the cav, but he's going to correct that mistake. He's going to take full inf reins for this rally and Constera Again, rallying him for the second rally. We are spamming and getting ready to smack him. A bit worried that we can get cap, but Constera is very strong. Of course, we didn't know at this point that he is going to take full inf reinforcements, which he did. So Constera getting capped, but we are not much worried because here you can see the damage done to him. He have only 300k infirmary spaces. 2 million reds per hit, which is crazy amount of damage. Basically, with those two rallies, we wiped his uh, front line. So range rally now would be a killing for him. He knew that and migrated to uh, another kingdom. From that kingdom, he migrated to another kingdom. And from that kingdom, yes, he migrated again to another kingdom because uh, we was trying to set uh, rallies from guilds in those kingdoms. Guys, I hope you found this video very funny as I do. If you do, please like the video and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video coming out soon. And now go out there and grab some kills.